Hey everybody, this is Geo Joe here today with a video tutorial on the GVI mobile application. For today's demonstration video, I would like to show a couple preliminary steps that you need to do within the GVI mobile app before you can do the QR code scan method. What we need to do is create what is called a binding account, and that is what I'm going to show in this demonstration. Once you first download the GVI mobile application and you open it, you'll come to this screen where it says, do you want to enter demo mode? Since we are going to be in a real world environment and we're not going to use the demo camera that GeoVision offers for you to view, we're going to hit no on this screen. Now, add a binding account. You can either hit set right here and you can do it or we're going to actually hit cancel and I'm going to show you where you can access it later just in case you don't hit set here the first time that you open this. So we're going to hit cancel. And then the last thing that I would recommend, currently the mobile app, when you first download it, it comes in a feature that is called easy mode. We're going to toggle out of that feature and go into the normal state. So to do that, in the top right-hand corner, we will hit the gear icon. And then the first option there where it says easy mode and it's toggled on in green. We're going to toggle that off. It says, do you want to switch to general mode? We're going to hit OK. Now, after we do that, hit the gear icon in the top right-hand corner again. And you can see a few different options. Um, one other that I do recommend, right here in the kind of the middle of the page, auto add to live view. I like to toggle that on. And what that will do is whenever you add in a system, it will automatically add the cameras into your grid for viewing. So you don't have to manually add in each camera one by one. Now, the next step we're going to do is scroll down to the section right here in the middle of the screen that says account management, add a binding account. So this is what you need to set up prior to scanning the QR code within the GeoVision SNVRs or the GeoVision VMS software. So if you click add a binding account, you have a few different options here. Um, you can type in a email address in the first field or you can use the QR code method below or the Google method. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in an email address here that I would like to use as my binding account. And once you do that, you hit get verification code. It will then email you a four digit verification code, which you will come back and type in, hit verification. And then right here, you will see a message that says the account is successfully bound. You can then hit okay, and your account is set up and ready to use. Now, when you are ready to add in either a SNVR or a VMS machine, in the top left-hand corner, you can hit the three-line icon. And in the top right-hand corner, you can hit the plus sign. Down at the bottom right-hand corner of this screen, you have the QR code scan button. If you hit that, it will activate the camera on your phone. And then you can scan the on-screen QR code within the VMS software or your SNVR device. After you scan the QR code, code it will bring you right back to this page where your IP address field would be populated and you'll just need to enter in your username and password and it might ask you to create a name in the top field there you can name it whatever you would like once you enter in the username and password you hit get information and then once it registers the cameras and shows them down below you will hit save in the top right hand corner and then you will have successfully added in a VMS or an SNBR to your GBI mobile application. This has been a demonstration video on how to get your mobile app prepared for scanning the QR code by creating a binding account. For further information on our product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.